<laughs> it's snowing! This is the Akakura Onsen area. They have a ski uh, resort right here. It's called the Myoko, the Myoko Kogan area. And you can get here, I get here by Shinkansen uh, from Tokyo to Nagano. And then I took the local train line to um, this area. And the, I put a uh, link to the map in the description of this video. So check out, you can see where I am right now. It's coming down pretty hard. That means there's gonna be really good powder snow in this area of the Nagano, um, Niigata area up here in the mountains. Uh, you can take a look. This is what a, a, a typical Japanese ski town is like. It looks a lot better with the snow. Now, I, I stayed at a hotel over this direction. I stayed at a hotel down this direction. Um, and the ski slopes are over there. And this main road seems to be where, this seems to be where a lot of the, the restaurants, a lot of the gift shops, a lot of uh, other hotels, maybe the lower budget hotels. We were in not not the best hotel, I think. But it was a good place. It was a good place. Um, I'm gonna take you through this street, and then we're gonna end it because I'm freezing. I'm freezing. But we're gonna we're just I'm just gonna take you down the street and show you some of the cool stuff. One of the cool things that I wanted to show you before I, I head back to Tokyo here in the snow um, is that just right over here, like about 20 meters away, they have onsen tamago. Now I've introduced this before in the past. Onsen tamago is um, eggs that are boiled in the onsen hot spring water. The hot spring water has lots of minerals in it, so it gives the eggs some taste to it. And they don't really fully boil because the water is not boiling hot. It kind of congeals, so you have like this half-boiled egg inside. It's really awesome. I don't know if I'm going to buy it, but I just want to show you some of this town. I think you should buy it when you come to visit uh, this Akakura. Myo Myoko ski area. Oh, this is a, a crepe place. Here you go. Here's some of the crepes that they have. Oh, that looks good. Somebody bought one. This is another gift shop that they have. Um, loads of stuff inside. I'd go in. Ice cream. Yeah, that's not going to happen on a day like this. <laughs> Let's get out of this snow. You can see inside of the gift shop, they have lots of stuff. There's cup noodle, ramen, things for people to eat in the hotel room if you don't want to eat the dinner there. It's really, really cold. I'm just going to put my gloves on. <laughs> it's snowing! Very, very cool. Now, I can hear uh, lots of people speaking English here. I, I, I don't know why, but I think that this, this resort has been advertised in a lot of um, Australian ski magazines or something because everybody speaks Australian. You can tell from the accent. And there's a, I, I heard some Italians and I heard some, some other accents. Ooh, apples. This area of Japan is also famous for apples. Very good. Yeah, but I, I, I hear a lot of languages other than Japanese, although I hear Japanese here. Yeah, you have to stay, stay warm. Stay warm. All right, there is the onsen tamago. I'm waiting for these people to leave so I can go over there and show you. I was, I, I was inside this gift shop before. They have um, um, some strange Kit Kats as well, but oh, he's eating it. They're gonna be there forever now. All right, I'm going over there. I can't, oh, there's a skier. Snowboards have taken over the ski slopes because you should not call them ski slopes anymore. They should call them snowboard slopes because it's 80% like snowboards now. It's like 80% snowboarding. I, I didn't see many people, I was skiing, but everyone was snowboarding. I'm gonna take you over just to look at the, at the uh, Onsen Tamago, okay. Wow. Onsen Tamago. Oishi. Oishi. Emise no naka ni harai masu ka? So, 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 so
Okay. Okay. So different day for it. All right, I guess I gotta go pay inside before I eat it. Right, can you wait out here while I go in and do that? Because they have copyrighted music. I don't wanna. Oh my gosh, the line is long. The line for stuff is long. I don't think there's gonna be any left. All right, hold on. I'm gonna try to get an onsen tamago. Ah, doko ni harimasu onsen tamago? Ah, kochi da. Ah, kochi? Yeah. Kure desu ka? Kure desu. Hai. Yaku? Kochi. Kochi. Yong. Hai. Arigato. Onsen tamago. This came right from the onsen. Alright. Smell smells like an onsen. I could go in an onsen right now. I would I'd love to go in an onsen. Oh you peel it here. Oh thanks, Nash. Thank you for the Thank you for the egg money. <laughs> I appreciate that. So, hold on, let me see. Are you okay? All right. Awesome, you get to peel it. Like this. Okay, let's do this here. Ah, that's <laughs> over. I saw that, man. <laughs> I'm going to go to the onsen tamago. I'm over here. Hello. <laughs> Alright, so I can, I can peel it for you. Whew. It's hard to do it because my hands are freezing. <laughs> The store manager's watching me like, what is he doing with that camera? <laughs> oh, it's really easy to peel. Oh, thanks, Jim. Jim's one of, Jim and Nosh are the two moderators of the live stream. All right, we're almost there. Now, this tastes really good in the snow because it's warm. My hands are freezing and now that it's doing okay right now. Here we go, ready? Once a time ago. Mmm. It tastes like an egg. <laughs> what, did you, what were you expecting? Well, it's not congealed. Usually my image of an once and time ago is that it's all like half boiled, but it's really boiled through. It's got a little bit of natural saltiness to it. The result of um, the water that's boiled in. But you can put, people are putting a topic on it. They're putting a topping on it. Oh. Oh. Kimchi? Oh, chaka. Ah, thank you so much. Oh. Kara i. Kara i Ah, look, kimchi. She said that it's a little bit spicy. Yeah. That's the way we eat things. Spicy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm. It's so much better with the kimchi. Wow. I've never eaten once in time ago or any eggs with 
kimchi on it, this is good. Once again, this is onsen tamago. This is onsen water, or hot spring water, and they're boiling these eggs. And the eggs are boiled for an indeterminate amount of time. And they're 150 yen each. Onsen ude tamago means onsen boiled eggs with kimchi. Sayonara. They helped me with the uh, putting the topping on the egg and, and uh, very nice people here. This is like, there's no Starbucks here, but I found that a lot of people are going to this cafe. You see that there? Especially a lot of um, foreigners. And um, it looks like a stylish cafe. It's the only, only cafe that's really, really stylish. And there's a little place you can put your, surf, your surfboards, your, no, your snowboards, and then you can go in there and get a cup of coffee. A lot of people seem to be going to Full Circle We Are Snow Surfers. That's the full, full name of this place. You can also rent snowboard equipment here. Now, I rented, I rented the equipment, and the, the skis were 30 centimeters too short. The boots were like one centimeter too tight. The clothes were three days unwashed from the last two people, I think. I found a dirty mask in the pocket. Yeah, you know, I think people are a little bit too busy to wash the stuff, and that's okay, it's rental. And I was happy to have it here, but yeah, not, not rental stuff is not always the best. So it's good to bring your own. It's just, it's a lot of stuff to bring. There, there's, there's, it's in English. Look at this, Tatra Khan Beer Hall Restaurant. It's all you can eat. I didn't eat here. It has live soba making performances, which is pretty cool. I think that's a good idea. They have a 90 minute all you can eat dinner buffet. Uh, adults is about 30, it's about $30 for adults and $15 for kids. And all you can drink for 1500 yen. I bet you they get a lot of people just for that. And then premium drinks, I guess I would go with that because I'm a premium type of guy. All right, so we're almost concluded with this tour. Here's another rent shop. You can see the rental people in there. Burton seems to be some sort of rental brand or a ski brand. Uh, ski brand. This place serves crepes and they had a line uh, before. It looked really good. And this one is a very famous um, in this area, um, Onsen Manju. Onsen, again, is the hot springs, and Manju are these cakes. I could take you and take a look. <clears throat> That's an onsen manju. They're like little steam cakes made from the onsen water. But these are what I recommend the most. This is sasa dango. And dango, I guess I've introduced this before in the main channel. It's really good. It's like rice that has been um, um, pounded with, with um, uh, kusa. Kusa is a type, or not a... Not kusa, but it's with a kind of, uh, oh, it says right here, a specific sticky rice filled with sweet bean craze all wrapped in a bamboo leaf. Very, very good. I always get sasa dango for the Shinkansen ride back. This is the crepe. Let's have one look at this. Good. Yeah, this looks really good. This is a really delicious crepe place. They make crepes. Jennifer would love one of these. We were looking for crepes like for, oh yeah, look, he just put one on. We were looking for crepes for a long time, uh, last month. Uh, and they have all different kinds of flavors. Rare, che rare cheese cream. Whoa, rare cheese cream with banana. That looks good. Yeah. Very good. Now there's a lot of, not a lot, but there are many, many uh, people who watch this show who have never seen snow before. It's, the world is a big place and the tropics take a lot of it and there, there are places in the world that, that don't get snow. Japan is, is one of them. So we have four seasons in Japan. And so it's sort of fun because I've been, <laughs> I've been in, in tourist places in Hokkaido, where there were people who came in from Thailand, and um, this is in Aomori as well, they come off of the plane, they see the snow, and they start freaking out. They go, ah, look at the snow! 
and they're speaking it. I get I don't know exactly what they're saying because they're speaking in Thai, but it's so funny. They're freaking out with the snow, and they're totally unprepared for winter because they don't have uh, winter jackets or well, they have something that they bought in Thailand, but it doesn't quite do it, so they have to buy all this stuff here. Um, I, I thought that was funny, and I said I, I remember I said where are you from, and they said we're from Thailand, and I said that's awesome because I I love Thailand. It's one of my favorite countries, and. Uh, uh, Asia. Just, everyone's so friendly and happy there. Oh, uh, we see. Great people. Nice. <laughs> everyone's friendly here. So, uh, my g gimbal stabilizer is not doing so well. So what I'm gonna do is try to end this stream. Now I found over here. There's a manhole uh, cover, manhole cover, and I'm a, I'm what, I, I'm what, what some people, I don't want to say it too loud because people can speak English. I'm what some people would say like a, a manholer. Uh, one of these people who, who goes around Japan looking for the designs, the metallic designs uh, that, they, that they put onto the metallic manhole covers. And each city, each place has its own original design. And this area of Japan also has an original manhole cover, and I found one. Now, places with a lot of heavy snow, they usually don't have that that design because of all the snow and all the plowing that goes on. It 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 sort of doesn't make a lot of sense, and you can't see it for half the year. Wait, wait! Oh, I found it yesterday, and it wasn't snowing. Am I still gonna be able to see it? Wow, this street is like it's like a whiteout. Why? Is this it? Oh no, that's not the one. Oh, oh that's it underneath there. Hey, go ahead, car. I'm manholing. You can't see it, it's all like snowed in. What? There's, it's a manhole cover of a mountain, but it's all like covered in snow. Well, I guess no manhole. <laughs> well, you can't. Know. It's there. It's just you can't really see it. This place. As I'm walking up back to the hotel to get my luggage, this is the place where I went to get in a beer. They also serve kunomiyaki, and it's like a takeout food because there's no place to eat it inside. They have yakisoba, okonomiyaki. Um, it's pretty reasonably priced. A lot of the stuff here, I've noticed. I've noticed that um, the package tour to come here was relatively cheap. Um, hotel, shinkansen, um, two meals, ski rental equipment, transportation uh, was about two hundred, no, about one hundred and eighty-five dollars round trip. That's insane if you include the price of the Shinkansen. What they don't tell you is that everything is an, a quote unquote upgrade, okay? So, so you have to upgrade everything in this town. This is called Upgrade Town. Things start cheap, you have to upgrade if you want anything. And uh, <laughs> in the end, we ended up upgrading a few things. I guess it's good, it supports the town, but it doesn't support our bottom line. Oh, that snowflake hit right in the camera. All right, the gimbal's not doing too well. It's like tottering now. There's some snow people. They're gonna turn into snowmen. So am I. So I'm in this live stream. I just wanted to take you through this this really cool town. Take a look at see um, what this area is like in the snow. And um, once again, I put a link in the description um, so you can find out where this is if you want to check it out. See where John was freezing in the snow on uh, January 22nd, 21st. All right, everybody, we're turning around. Enjoy the snow for the next 20 seconds. Hope you had some fun. Uh, I did. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs>